MapGeo is Carson City's new online GIS portal. MapGeo can be used to access the city's GIS data layers, search for properties, assessment information, and has many other capabilities that can be used by both city staff and citizens. An important feature to be aware of is how to expand the map. This is especially important on mobile devices. If the right panel is expanded, it can be minimized by using the right arrow on the panel to dismiss the right panel. Similarly, this icon can be toggled to dismiss the left sidebar to maximize map space on the screen. The first thing that you'll probably want to do when using MapGeo is to find your location of interest. That can be done using the search icon in the upper right corner. This will open the search panel on the right hand side. MapGeo has an integrated search that allows you to search for addresses. And notice as you start typing an address, suggestions begin to appear on the right hand side. You can also search by last name of property owner or by the parcel number. This is a wildcard search that will pull up several different choices based on parcel number, ownership name, and address. Once you've identified your location of interest in the menu on the right hand side, you can click on that choice and zoom to it and notice that MapGeo will highlight the property and on the left panel pull up a property report. The property report will consist of ownership information, address, parcel number, and some appraisal information that's pertinent to that property. There are also links that go directly to the Carson City Assessor's website. MapGeo also has direct integration with Google Street View. A preview will appear for properties that are along routes that have been driven by Street View. Clicking on the Street View sample will open it up in the larger screen, and it can be browsed just as it would be on the Google website. An additional feature of Street View inside of MapGeo is the location of property pins for adjacent properties. When these pins are clicked on inside of Street View, the property report will be updated on the left panel for that particular property. This allows the user to use Street View as a method of accessing the city's GIS property information. When using MapGeo, you can find a location of interest simply by zooming in on the map to an area that you're interested in. And then just clicking on a particular parcel that you find of interest. The next tool to be aware of in MapGeo are the map themes, which can be accessed through the map themes icon just below the search icon. This allows the user to toggle map themes on and off that might be of interest to them, such as points of interest around the city, parks and open space locations, or GIS layers that are specific to land use and planning, public safety, transportation, or the city's FEMA flood layer. Some layers may be difficult to see on top of the base map. These layers can be adjusted by using the transparency slider to make the data easier to see on top of the underlying base map. Users also have the option to change the base map from the default view with buildings to satellite view, Google terrain, or using the city's archive of historic aerial photos going back to 1998. The next tool available in MapGeo is the Draw and Measure tool, available just below the map themes. When expanded, the user has the option of clicking the Measure tool 
and measuring linear distances using the line tool. They can change the color of the line that they are measuring and can commence measuring by single clicking on the map and moving the cursor to their desired direction. Notice that an ongoing measurement will appear on the map. To change the direction of their linear measurement, single click on the map and move the cursor to the desired direction. This tool can be used to measure an entire perimeter of an area. To complete the perimeter, simply double click. And the overall measurement will be given on the map and a feature will be created for that measurement in the right hand panel. Users can also use the polygon tool to measure areas, anchoring using single clicks, and completing using double clicks. Once completed, an overall square footage or acreage will be given for the area measured, as well as a feature will be created on the right hand side. Features can be removed by clicking the Remove button. MapGeo gives the ability to measure by circles or rectangles as well. The drawing tool works very similar to the measure tool and allows for users to put markup on the map. For example, they can highlight an area using the polygon tool, adjust the color scheme as necessary, and similar to the area measurement, they can draw a polygon by single clicking on the map and completing with a double click. There is a text tool that allows for labeling on the map. All drawings on the map and measurements can be shared using the share tool at the top of the screen. This provides a URL that can be copied and pasted into an email and shared with other users that allows them to open up the map and view all the markup that was created by the user with the same underlying base map and zoom level that was created at the time the markup was completed. The map geo map can also be printed to a PDF. You have the option of putting a title on the map. And once you click the create printable map button, map geo will load a PDF. The PDF contains an image of your map, including any markup that you have added, the base map that you have selected and your zoom area. If a parcel is selected, a small parcel report will appear at the bottom with property information. This PDF can be saved and sent to others. To select individual parcels, users can click on the map using the control key. They can use this to select multiple parcels and also to unselect parcels. Once the desired parcels are selected, they may use the left arrow in the upper left corner of the application to see the selected properties list and likewise download those properties to a spreadsheet or to a mailing label PDF. Users can also provide feedback if they encounter problems with MapGeo by using the feedback tool in the upper right hand corner. The user can fill in information about the issue that they are experiencing, their contact email, and submit the form. MapGeo is available now for both Carson City staff users and for citizens.